for joining me for another shave on CB Shaves and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Right, excited to shave. And it's new soap and a new blade. And the soap today is, is it Joe's? Uncle Joe, Uncle Joe, <laughs> Joe's, here we go already. Uncle John's clean cotton. I thought it was fresh cotton, but it's not. It's, it's Uncle John's clean cotton. There's John. Now, I've got to tell you guys, this is the cleanest, freshest soap I've ever smelled. It's beautiful and it's a hard puck. And it's smooth. It's so fresh. And do you know what it reminds me of? Over here in the UK, we have a, um, it's like a fabric softener, but it's in like a sheet. And you, you, put, you break a piece off and you put it in your, with your laundry in the um, tumble dryer. And it gives off this scent with your clothes and everything nice and fresh. Excuse me, and it smells exactly like that. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna try this today. And I'll just show you the ingredients. Now I'm not sure if this is a tallow based or a glycerin, because I think they used to be glycerin based and John changed his base to tallow, but this has got both in. So there you go, there's the ingredients guys. So I'm gonna use that today. And the razor, the weapon of choice today is gonna to be the Rockwell Model T. And there it is guys, it's a beautiful razor, it's gunmetal finish, great knurling, lovely weight, nice long handle on it as well. Twist to open, no overhang whatsoever, it's all enclosed. And what I like about this as well, you have to give the doors three full turns before it opens so you've got no worry about it coming open or coming loose during the shave. And inside there today, we are using a new blade, for me, and it's the laser super platinum. And it comes double wrapped, which is good, which means it's taking care of the blade. And I've already loaded it, just to save a little bit of time, and it's the first use, obviously. And doors are closed, and it's one, two, three, three and a bit. But it's more. <laughs> right. And there's the tuck it comes in. There you go. Brush, brush, I love this brush. And I put it soaking in my Skeletor mug. And it's the Yaki 24ml two pound badger. I love this brush. The tips are starting to gel. It's beautiful and it's the aqua handle, 24ml two pound badger professional. There you go. Right, now that I've shook this, Let's try and get lathered in. I haven't bloomed the soap. I'm just going to use it straight out the puck. I'm going to load the brush and the lather on the face today. Because I just fancy the change. I'm just going to wet the water as we go. So excuse me if the tap's a bit noisy. So how are you guys doing? Are you okay? Not far off the 500 now guys. We're close but no cigar. Get to 500 and we can start the uh, start introducing the uh, 500 subscriber giveaway. So if any of you guys can uh, can offer any help <laughs> and share the video, let's get there. Let's get this uh, giveaway on the go, guys. It'll be a good. It's gonna be a good giveaway, right? I think she's loaded. We can always go back to the puck. We can always go back to the water. So I'm going to wet the face and we've got Mr. Mister today, bring him out for a change. So get the whiskers a good dousing. Um, I'll take the I'll take the glasses off for the lather because my eyes are getting so much worse. I need a eye to oh, the, I love the scent of this. And this, this soap was a gift from a subscriber and a very good friend, Kim, Kim Gray. How are you doing, Kim? Over there in New Jersey, she sent me over some, uh, some soaps that she wasn't too keen on. Lady Wet Shaver, 
change the legs. I'm going to add a tad more water to the face, not the brush. Yeah, she sent me some um, some soaps and some, a few. I think it was three, was it three razors, Kim? I think it was. Yeah, three razors. That didn't work for her. Very generous. Thank you very much, Kim. Feels good on the skin. And I think we'll uh, no, I'm gonna add a tad more water to that. Better. A little bit of a sheen on it now. I love this scent. I mean, come on, guys. Everybody loves clean, fresh linen clothes. And I thought it'd be ideal soap and scent to use as spring is just around the corner. One of my favourite seasons. New life. All the birds, all the insects, all the lambs. We get loads of lambs at the back of the house because we're surrounded by farms where we live. And it's every year lambing season. The lambs are in the back. Soon as the wife sees them, Mrs. B, can we have one? <laughs> no. <laughs> they grow up to be ugly. Let's get some heat in the freezer. Mind you, I should say yeah, because lamb's my favourite meat. I hope <laughs> not animal activist. I do apologise. <laughs> it was just a joke. Right, here we go, guys. The laser super platinum Rockwell Model T with the grow first use. Let's see how this goes. Not used it before, and I love the Model T. A lot of people say that. It shaves the same as the Rockwell 6S and 6C. I've got the 6C, not the 6S, but to me it's slightly, to my personal feel on my face, it's slightly um, more aggressive. And just to mention, put the glasses on, I forgot to mention, we are starting the first pass with Setting five. Sorry. <laughs> and it feels excellent. Like I said, no no overhang, so I haven't got to worry about that. It's a beautiful razor. The balance and the feel in the hand is excellent to me. I must stress to me because everybody's different. And the reason I brought that up because on the last shave I got a comment from Chuck. Oh, what's your channel? Is it Chuck Shaves? I'll leave a link into his channel. I think it's Chuck Shaves over there in the States. And in the last video I used the Marvel and he said he found it too mild he had to use a shimmy but I was trying to stress that it's designed to feel mild but it is an aggressive razor but but everybody's different everybody's skin is different everybody's taste is different I can only tell you how it's feeling and working for me This is beautiful. This is a nice blade on the initial first pass anyway. I'll be able to tell it more on the, the other few passes. Yeah, thanks very much Kim, I really appreciate it. I think I mentioned it in one of the other videos. I used the bath soap that you, you sent me. Oh, still in executive man. Very creed. Very nice. I've still got another bar left, I haven't used it yet. I might use it around about Christmas time. Something a bit special.
I'm really liking the aggression on this. Because usually with a, the 6C, I'll start on like a 4. It's really comfortable. I can, I can do all three passes on a 4. But I thought I got a little bit more aggressive. Just fancied a bit more aggression today. Well, I hope you guys in the States are okay. The weather and everything, I hope it's all calmed down for you. But I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd seen on the news yesterday, Russia. Now, wouldn't you think Russia would be more equipped and ready for it? I I wrap down I wrap down here we go. A right dousing. It's buried cars. It's literally buried cars and small houses. Wow. I mean, us in the in the UK, we moan about a couple of inches and we can't cope. So I owe you guys over there in the States and especially Texas now, because you're the most recent. I hope you're getting back to normal. And you guys in New York, New Jersey. I think over here in the UK, Yorkshire and, and, and everywhere like that, I think we're more or less, more or less normal now. We've had about as warm weather and we've got more coming, but they have warned. I looked on the, um, the weather site early this morning and I think there might be a band of more snow coming tonight and I think they were talking about, I think it's mainly Scotland, they were talking about minus 18 but I don't know, we'll see what happens, if anything can change right, second pass across the grove guys I'm really enjoying this blade I've never used one before because I, I got um I bought some more blades that I hadn't tried. Uh, I've got a lot of blades. <laughs> I, I didn't really need them, but I just want to try them. And I'm not looking for that perfect blade. I enjoy all blades for what they are. Same as the razors. And for the next few shaves, well, quite a few shaves, I'll be using a brand new blade with every shave that I haven't tried before. I haven't changed the aggression. I've kept it on setting five. So I thought I'd just see, just see how it went. I'm not going against the grain for any of you guys that are new to the channel. This is the way my growth grows because it, it goes out that way. <laughs> I hope you guys have been having some really nice smooth shaves as well. Don't forget to put your shaves in the comments guys and keep your comments coming. I know you're busy and everything but just tell me how, how your days go in. Just tell me what your shaves are. I really love reading them. Feels a really sharp blade this does. Great feedback on the setting on the second pass. Slipness after the passes is not massive, I must admit, which I find it quite puzzling because there's tallow and glycerin in it. In it? Can't get any words out. Oh, 
It's nice. And I am going to turn it down for the uh, for the against the grain. That's nice. Feels really nice. Quite a nice um, post shave at the moment. After each pass. Oh yeah. All all here. All here. So we get that in a minute. How <coughs> frog me front today. Right, what was I doing? <laughs> right, open the doors. I don't think you have to with this one, but it's peace of mind. I'd like to t I like to take the tension off the mechanism to change the setting. And we're gonna go down to for against the groove. Tighten the doors. Number three. You can see that guys. There's a like a red triangle of all red dot there for the settings. Is that three? Yeah. <laughs> I can't see with them on. I need to get them tested. Big time. Right, let's whip the face. And you see now how long I spent loading the brush. What was it, about 30 seconds? And it's lasted all three passes and there's enough there, there should be enough there for the pickups. No issues, no dissipation. Thinner application but it should be okay. I'm putting it up my nose, not shaving your nose Chris. This is great, really enjoying this. Yeah we're almost there guys for the giveaway. Right, here we go guys, against the grow, third pass. Oh, wow. This is a sharp, it, it feels a sharp blade, it's not rough. You can really feel the cut. Razor's not aggressive now. Set in three, it's really comfortable. That's nice. Doesn't feel like it's clogging up or anything. Seems to be quite smooth. Angle's really, really easy to get on this. Sorry guys, I'm struggling with worse today. And I forgot to mention as well, because it, it, it came to me on the last shave as well with, with the other new blade. I meant to mention, because it came to me like, well, I meant to mention it, I didn't realise till after the shave. It felt like a bick with the last blade. It did to me anyway. Because I remember the shaves, I did this feels like a blade that I've used before. And I, I couldn't work it out, but it came to me after the shave. You didn't mention when you sent me this um, soap came out how old it was, because I noticed it shrunk a bit in the tub, or whether it comes that way, I don't know. The slickness isn't massive, but it feels nice. Very cushioned, but like I said on the, on the last video, I'm on a time limit with uh, lathering up with certain soaps. I mean, some soaps I'd like to take more time lathering, so. Again, like I mentioned in the last video, I might lather up first to spend that bit of extra time lathering it, getting a really nice lathering and talking you through it. I 
Oh, look at that. Well, the weekend's nearly here, guys. Around the corner. Weekends always start for me on Friday. After work, Friday night. Mind you, I've got work on Saturday, so. Buffering, using the buffering technique where I don't take the blade off the, off the skin, for the top lip. It seems to work really well. But I do tend to overdo it as always. Struggling on the top lip today and I don't know why. Everywhere else feels alright. Sorry about this guys. There's me trying to keep the video short. Like I said, it is bothering me. I don't want to tie you guys up any longer than what I have to. Because I know you've got lives to live. Just the corners. Right, now, it's either because I've... the edges come off really quick on this blade or it's the, uh, the setting on the razor. Maybe I should have left it on five. I don't know. I could leave it, but I wouldn't be happy. It's got it though. I always go for the PPS. Wow, there's hardly, hardly anything there now and I'm going to leave it on three the pickups just about enough soap did well this time <laughs> maybe I should face lather just load the brush and face lather more often there we go guys pick up time Yeah, look at that. Did I get one there last time? Did I get one on the last shave when I've reopened it? I can't remember. <laughs> this is a nice shave. Like I said, the soap feels great on the skin. Feels nice post shave. After every pass, slipless isn't massive, which surprises me. Because it's got tallow and glycerin. But I'll leave a link into the site in case you want to look for yourselves, guys. I'll, I'll leave a link into everything I use where I can. I can't always do it. Wow, yeah. What's that bit there? You hear that? Yeah, I'd like to spend more time working the lather. Cold water in. today. Love the album. Quick rinse under the water. Wow, no feedback whatsoever. I thought I made one. No feedback anywhere.
<laughs> Clean fluffy towel. Thanks, Mrs. B, as always. Always make sure I have a clean fluffy towel. No, it doesn't smell like the no. <laughs> smells nice though. No, not the no, bounce. That's what it smells like, that soap to me. Now, I clean the soap up, I'll rinse it all out and I'll let it air dry on a piece of uh, greaseproof paper for 24 hours, 48 hours, and then I'll put it back in, in, in its tub. Right. Put the old speckeroonies on. Well, a couple of little tiny ones. What do you think, guys? Good result. I'm happy. Happy chappy. Right, time's getting on. Right, after shave today, we're going with, with Murray and Lemon. Can hardly see that with the pattern. Florida water. Really nice, fresh clone. I haven't used it for a long time. We're in had a room. Oh yeah, that's so nice. Really nice and fresh that guys. Right. Bam! We'll go with Aqua Velva 5 and 1 because it's nice and fresh. It does the job. It does exactly what it says on the tin. I love it. Oh, give it a shake. Peace, guys. That's all you need. Yeah, that's nice. That's, it's not quite BBS, I will admit, but I'll tell you what, that's a nice shade. I'm not going to lie to you. But I can live with that, that's nice. A little bit in the elbows that I've got left. Happy chappy. Right, I'm not going to run down everything. I'm going to keep that because you can always rewind and go back and see what I've used. I just better put the top on things. Yep. Right. Where's the lid? Uncle John's. Clean cotton. It's nice. It's the freshest scent I've, I've ever smelled. Slipness. Not there for me. It's enough to work with, but I, I, I like that a bit more. The blade, the blade for me felt really smooth to start with, but that could have been the initial uh, first pass. Nice blade, but not a go-to. Not for me, but I'll put links in anyway. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments and give the thumbs up, guys. Let's get the 500, let's get the giveaway started. Right, have a great weekend, guys. Keep smiling and stay safe, and I'll see you on the next shave. Thanks very much. Bye now.